everyone, it's Lisa from I Dream in Soap. Time for a festive soap today and I'm going to start off making an embed and this is going to be an embed of a cat that's going to be laying down in front of an open fire. So I've got my embed moulds ready. And then I've got all my oils that I need to fill the embed moulds up and my lye solution with some sodium lactate in. I'm just going to mix those together and bring them to an emulsion. Okay, so I've just sort of emulsified that. I'm going to add my fragrance oil to that whole batch. Now this is a gorgeous fragrance oil. It's actually cinnamon orange and it's from Craftivator in the UK and it's, oh god, it is a really, really lovely scent. I do really like it and it holds really nicely in cold process soap and it doesn't discolour. It's made this soap go a bit weird there, hasn't it? But if anything, it seemed to whiten my soap even more when I did my tester. Okay, so I've just blended that all in at once just to save me having to muck around with splitting it out. It doesn't accelerate or anything, so it's quite a nice fragrance oil to deal with. Okay, I'm just going to give that further mix round. Now for my cat, I want it to be mainly white, so that will stand out nicely in my Christmas scene. And I want it to have sort of wispy bits of grey in it. So I've got some antique silver mica here, just a tiny weeny little bit. And I'm going to pour off a very small amount of this soap. That would do, because I just want to add, as I said, a little bit of wispiness to this cat. Let's get that mixed in. Gosh, and I can really smell that orange is coming through really strongly. You just get left with the cinnamony smell with this one as well. But it's definitely sort of more orangey, but it's sort of a, a spicy orange, I would guess. Rather than just a flat orange. So yeah, lovely festive smell. And that was just some titanium dioxide already predispersed in oil going into the white for the cat. Now I am going to pour these when they're quite thin because I kind of do want the colours to muddle together and muddy up, not muddy up a bit, but I want them to be really wispy. I don't want to have some definite lines. So I'm just going to get those poured fairly soon. Now I'm not deliberately aiming for stripes or anything, I just want to have a nice coverage of the different colours. And I will give this a little stir.
Okay, so I am just going to give this a little swirl round just to make sure it is nice and wispy. Okay, so I'm hoping these are sort of set up enough. This is certainly a fluid fragrance oil, so this has been about half an hour. So what I'm going to do is just use my little scraper to scrape the shape of the bottom of the cat. Now, I do sell these moulds in the shop, so obviously if you did want to buy one, then you could do that. And what I do with the moulds is I do make sure that there's an engraving, as it were, of the cat on the end of the mould, so that when you're scraping it, you do get the bottom end at the bottom and the, you know, the head end at the head, just to make sure that you don't end up with some sort of weird disjointed cats, which to be honest would probably be not too bad, wouldn't it, considering how bendy cats are. But, okay, so I'm just going to make sure I've got everything lined up correctly and get that scraped out. Now, if you didn't fancy scraping it, you could always leave the cat with just a flat bottom and put it flat against the base of your soap, that would work. This may still actually be a little bit too runny, so I'm just going to take off the first layer while it's still really fluid and plop it into this little sample mould. And I think I might just leave that just to set up a little more just to make sure it doesn't collapse in. Again, just making sure I get my cat round the right way. This scraper's got, let me just show you. So a little, I don't know if you can see that, the scraper's got a little picture of the cat on to show which way round, and then you can just match that with the picture at the end of the embed mould. Yeah, this is a bit too runny still. <laughs> Great fragrance salt if you want to do some sort of intricate designs, because as I said, this has been over half an hour that I've been letting this set up. And it's still a bit too soft, but great for filling in my little sample soaps without any air holes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave those for a few minutes. I know they look a bit messy at the moment, but that's because I'm in the middle of scraping. I'm not going to wait and do this all on video, but as you can see the idea, I'm just going to go through. I'll just scrape through once more and just tidy up those lines once they've firmed up properly. Then this will go in the oven um, to... Mm, actually, no, I'm not going to seed pot this one. I might actually just try and keep it nice and cool because it's white. White actually... I always find it looks better and it looks whiter if you don't put it through gel. So I may actually um, not see pop this. Okay, so I will just sort all that out and then we'll finish the rest of the soap off tomorrow. So here we are with our little embed tray with the cute little cat that I made the other day. So that's all nicely unmolded. Oh, and that fragrance mold it does smell fantastic, that cinnamon orange. I do really like it. Also, what I've made is, and I didn't bother extruding these all on the video, but basically I've extruded some cute little stockings to go on the fireplace with one of my two-piece extruder discs. That's one in red. And then I've done one with a sort of more, more detailed pattern, a more stripy effect there. So they're going to be hanging off of our fireplace. I've got some little stockings that I'm going to slice up into little bits and they're just going to decorate the top of the soap. And then these just simple basic extrusions here are going to be just little decorations in the garland that I'm going to have on my fireplace mantle. Okay, so those are all my bits and pieces ready.
Let's make up the first layer. So I've just mixed up off camera the tiniest amount of soap and this is just plain soap batter with 0.05 of a gram of chestnut brown mica in just to, can you see that, just to make it into the very lightest sort of tan colour. And I want that to be a nice thin layer. And I'm just going to leave that just a fraction to set up a little bit before I put my cat embed in there. Okay, so here's my little cat. Let's just drop that in. Quite tricky because it's a very skinny mould. So now we want to do the fireplace behind the cat and I think this is going to be quite tricky because I'm going to try and do the fireplace while it's quite fluid but then I need to bring my stockings in at the top and the batter will still need to be fluid enough to hold the stockings but I don't want them to sink so <laughs> um, I've got a bit of a plan and let's hope that it's going to work. So this is the batter that I've calculated that I need for the fireplace area. Let's just bring this to an emulsion. Now I am barely at emulsion there and that's really, really what I want. Because I'm going to start splitting off now. So I've done some splitting off. I've got a bulk of it in this jug here and then I've got a tiny weeny amount in this little squeeze bottle with some sunshine yellow in. A slightly larger amount in this squeeze bottle with some sunshine yellow and terracotta red in to give me an orange for my fire. And then again another larger amount with just the terracotta red in for the colour of my fire. Now what I'm going to do with this is make it black. So I've got my activated charcoal. Now what I'm going to plan to do is sort of make the fiery bit of the fireplace first and hopefully allow that to set just a little bit and then go in and top off with just the black area above the fire. That's my plan anyway. So what I need to do is I'm going to pour some of this black into this last squeeze bottle. And then leaving this bit because I'm hoping it's going to stay fluid. And then I've got my fragrance oil. Now I'm just going to sort of divvy this up a little bit by eye, saving some for the other bit of black. Okay, so let's get my cat in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my black down the side. Still very, very runny at the moment. I might just leave that a fraction because it's really, really super duper runny. So I'm going to leave that just for a second. 
so I think I've got a slightly better trace now and what I've done whilst I was waiting as well is I've added some little extensions, you can probably see it on this one better, to my squeeze bottles just to make it easier to get in down beside that little cat. So let's have a go. So I think we're nicely set up. So let me go and grab those embeds. I've got a little red and white stocking. And then my jolly little green, white and red stocking. So what I want to do is, I want to pour the rest of my black from my fire around these, but just leave the very tops, if I can, of those stockings sticking out so that they go out into my mantelpiece section. But I do want this to be flat, which is kind of tricky when you've got embeds in here to get it nice and even. Okay, so once again, I'm going to leave that to set up. So now I'm going to do a mantelpiece. So I've done some brown, that's chestnut brown, and some activated charcoal. And I'm just going to layer these into a jug and then pour the mantle. look a little bit like wood but I'm not going to get a proper wood grain pour because obviously the way I'm cutting this soap is against how you would normally cut it for a wood grain. So just take that in and get it nice and level and then we'll be sculpting that out a little bit in a little while. Okay so I think our mantle is set up enough so I'm just going to take this little scraper and just scrape an area for a garland. And then 
just going to mix up a little bit of green so I can pour it onto there. And I'm just going to literally just add that straight in. Okay, so I've just extruded, or as I showed you right at the start, extruded some little bits of soap dough. So I'm just going to pop those in. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find. And then I'll leave that set up and scrape the top. And then these two, I'm going to add in after I've scraped it so that they're not all sort of at the same level. This is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Because I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you, baby, this year. And finally, I've just mixed up some yellow. This looks a little bit brighter than I want, but yellows do tend to fade as they saponify a little. And this is just going to be the sort of wall behind the fireplace. And the last bit to finish everything off. Here's our cute little Christmas soap the next day. Let's give it a cut and see what we've got. Now I'm a little bit nervous, I guess, inside. When I poured the mantelpiece area and I did that in the pot swirl with the black and the brown, I'm a little bit concerned that a lot of the black went down first and maybe it may not show up in the fireplace. So that's my, I guess, little concern that I've got with this, but let's have a look. just lightly really it's not really really prominent but I think we're doing okay my fires come out quite nicely and I like my cute little pussycat there and my little stockings and my um, garland that's come out really nicely too so overall I'm pleased with those they have come out really well Oh, look. I'm really happy with that one. They are so super cute, aren't they? And they smell. It is a gorgeous smell. It is quite a nice fresh orangey smell, but it's just got that hint of cinnamon to it that, that makes you think of Christmas. But certainly it's not like a heavy Christmas pudding-y type smell or anything. So, yeah. I'm really pleased with those. They've come out well. And then as normal, I'll just leave you with a couple of pictures of the final soap. These soaps are up for sale now in the shop. The link to the shop is in the description box below. At the time of publishing this video, there are literally just a couple of bars left. So if you do want to grab yourself a bar, you need to get over there fairly quick. But I've got some other Christmas soaps too. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you like the soap. If you have, it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see what I'm making in the future, then why not subscribe to my channel? And if you've got any questions or comments, then please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy soaping!